uh, Once Upon Today is a training series that we started in 2012. And the general idea is to talk about history and memory, not as something uh, that is only related to the past, but that has something to do with us today and which stories are told, which stories are heard, um, who has the right to participate in society, um, to also think about this from different perspectives, like individual perspective, different communities, different nations as well, but also on a European level. I came here because uh, I'm uh, really interested in international exchanges, uh, uh, good practices. Uh, from this training, as a former participant uh, and now as being part of the team, uh, I take a uh, lot of um, emotions, uh, which empowers my uh, motivation at school, uh, in the classroom, you know, to bring people, young people together and uh, make them collaborate and uh, make them interested uh, in uh, education. I meet, meet amazing people and they are so creative, they are so, like, they are full of amazing ideas and knowledge and um, experiences, so like exchanging this knowledge and those experiences is the most valuable thing that I could get from this training. I'm grateful for being part of uh, this training. There have been five days of uh, uh, interesting discussions, learning new methods, uh, uh, innovating, uh, inspiring others, but also be inspired by their stories and by the methods the organizer have, uh, organizers have presented to us. And I, taking those with me and trying and hoping I will can implement them in my work in Romania. methods can everybody can use these methods yeah they're kind of universal you can I don't know it's a, you can have a certain historical topic um, you you might want to work on um, but it's you can also leave it totally free or up to the participants to decide on which topic they actually want to work um, it, and it can be used um, yeah for teenagers um, young people maybe starting from 15 16 I would say and then Actually, there is no end, yeah, because we are also working with professionals of youth work, for example. So, um, yeah, even adults uh, can take a lot <laughs> from, from these methods. And when you do something like creating something, acting out something, um, I don't know, discussing it in a group or playing in a group, it already gives you the inner impulse to express yourself and to cope with something. The topic of this year um, is the transformation period, 1989, 1990, 91. First planned it, we didn't know that the war was going to happen. So we had to ask ourselves, is this general approach working? with the current situation and we came to the conclusion that it's even more important today to talk about history, memory, identity, um, considering different perspectives and really allowing for an exchange between uh, these different perspectives. Taking in consideration the global crisis, economical, political one, and related to the war from Ukraine, is uh, to stay focused and deliver a historical factology, um, avoiding censorship and uh, inform our students, uh, uh, making them be aware of what is happening around the world, and of course, um, educating them in them uh, active citizenship. I think we should help young people to put current events into perspective. That means um, not to negate that they are challenging, but also to see longer developments. And for example, in Central and Eastern Europe, if we see the longer development, there also is a strong movement towards democracy. The second thing is, I think, to, to give space to connect with other people because even if you're not able to do something 
about the situation yourself, it's good to talk to others and to feel that you share similar views uh, in order not to feel powerless. And I think the third point is we need to talk about um, the future. And we have to ask ourselves, how do we want to live together? What are elements where we can make a change? Awareness of participants, um, their um, readiness to speak, to communicate, to debate at some point, to have a discussion. And I think this, um, this presence of multi-perspectivity is very important and this I will take with me definitely.